Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe Classic and we are going to cook a big tomahawk ribeye and we're going to do a reverse sear. So let's get started. I'd like to introduce you to the star of our show. This is a three pound tomahawk ribeye, bone in, French cut. It's about three inches thick and this is going to be a perfect candidate for a reverse sear cook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to season uh, this meat all the way around. You can use whatever seasoning blend you like for steak and I'll give you the recipe for mine here in the video description. This is just a mixture of salt, pepper, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder, and a little cayenne pepper. So I'm going to season both sides of this really well and I'm going to pat it in and then we are going to wrap this steak back up very tightly in plastic wrap and put it back in the refrigerator for about an hour or an hour and a half while we get our grill ready. Okay, I've got a fairly full firebox here so I'm going to light up two of the Kamado Joe fire starter cubes over on the left hand side of the grill because we're going to set up for some two zone cooking here so I'm going to let these burn with the lid open here for about 10 minutes. Okay, after our fire gets going here, I'm going to put about one chunk of smoke wood down in here to get a little bit of uh, smoke going, and then I'm going to set in our divide and conquer flexible cooking rack. And the way I'm setting up here is I'm going to set up for two zone cooking. I'm going to have an indirect side and a direct side, and I'm going to use the cast iron grate over on the direct side, but we're going to let this grill come up to about 250 or 275 degrees and then we're going to put the steak on over here. So in order to get up to 250 to 275, I'm going to leave the bottom vent open about halfway and I'm going to close the slider on the top vent about right there and we'll let it stabilize and if we need to tweak the temperature up, we'll open up here or if we need to tweak it down, we'll close it up. So like I said, we're going to shoot for around 250 to 275. Okay guys, we've got our grill up the temperature, so I'm going to open it up and we're going to place this big tomahawk over here on the indirect side of the grill and we're going to roast this until I get an internal temperature of about 120 to 125 degrees. So I'm not sure exactly how long that'll take, so we'll be back when it's done. Okay guys, we've been going about an hour and 10 or an hour and 15 minutes. And this guy's cooked up to about 120, 122 degrees internally. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off. I'm going to wrap this in several layers of foil to keep it warm. I'm going to set it aside. And then we're going to open up the vents fully on the Kamado Joe to get a screaming hot side going over here so we can sear this. Okay, guys, after literally less than about five minutes, uh, we've got this grill screaming hot. So I'm going to pull this open and we're going to set this guy on here for about two minutes aside and I've wrapped the bone in foil to keep that bone from over charring. Okay we've been going two to two and a half minutes here so I'm going to burp this grill we're going to pull it open and we're going to flip this guy and I'll let my foil come off there but that's okay we're going to cook it for another two minutes Okay, after another two minutes, we'll burp that grill again and pop her open, and this guy is done. So we're going to take that off, take it inside, and let it rest for a few minutes, and then we're going to cut in. Okay, guys, I've rested this for a few minutes, and we're going we're gonna to cut into this. Oh, man, that's super tender. So let's see what we've ended up with here. Look at that. Man, that is absolutely gorgeous. That's perfect, so let's have a taste. Okay guys, it's time for a taste of this. This is just butter tender. This particular piece is nice. Mm. Guys, that's absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful flavor, beautiful big cut of beef, slow cooked to bring it to temperature and then a sear char on the outside. That is the reverse sear technique. The advantage 
that you get from a reverse sear techniques you get to add some of that smokiness uh, or act actually you add a good bit more of that smoky flavor to the steak before it's finished off and it, it does taste different it's a different process but you need a larger cut you need a thicker steak to successfully pull off a perfect reverse sear so Guys, give this a try. Let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter, at Kamado Joe. And until next time, this is John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.